Panic disorder is characterized by episodic and unexpected panic attacks that occur uh, unprovoked. A panic attack is a sudden intense feeling of fear, often manifested by either psychological or physical uh, conditions like palpitations, tremor, feeling of shortness of breath, a feeling of choking, a sudden intense feeling you may die, and all of those things could be manifested in one panic attack. The cause of panic attacks is really unknown. It could be either genetic or environmental, and we don't exactly even know what the trigger is, because remember in panic disorder, uh, the trigger is unknown. People can experience as many as several panic attacks a day or may have one or two per year. Uh, the difficulty with panic attacks, because they're so unpredictable, people often become fearful of going out into other activities because they may experience a panic attack so they begin to do social isolation. So it can be quite crippling even with just a few small attacks. Panic attacks should always be evaluated by a healthcare provider because frankly we need to be sure it's a panic attack. There are many other physical and psychological conditions that mimic panic attacks and you have to be sure you know what you're talking about. This could be a cardiac disorder, a pulmonary disorder, endocrine disorder, and numerous other things cause something that looks like a panic attack. So before we make that diagnosis, you really want to make sure you've had a thorough medical evaluation. Treatment of panic disorder uh, can be either with medications or with psychotherapy. In fact, both psychotherapy and medications are equally effective. There was one study that suggested the two together are even more effective than one alone. Medications typically used are called SSRIs like Paxil or Prozac or Zoloft, which are very effective at decreasing the disorder. A psychological therapy for panic attacks includes things like cognitive behavioral therapy or mindfulness training. Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy is done with a therapist and you can do some very good uh, training on your own for mindfulness using an app like Headspace or Calm. Probably the most important thing you could do for a patient who has panic attacks is to just sit with them, remain calm, hold their hand, be very reassuring. Remember these last usually 10 minutes to a half an hour at the most, and they are going to fade away with time. And if you can reassure the patient, it's very helpful. If someone began to experience what they described as a panic attack, and it lasted maybe five to 10 minutes, and the symptoms then abated without any specific treatment, I don't think you'd have to seek medical treatment immediately, but if someone had symptoms that mimicked a panic attack and it was longer than 10 minutes and they weren't getting better, I would be sure to seek medical help to be sure it is a panic attack and not something more sinister like a cardiac condition or a neuro condition. Uh, not all of these things can be uh, passed off as simply a panic attack and I think you want to give your loved one the benefit of the doubt that if they're in trouble, they should be seen by a doctor.